we're comparing two gorgeous large breeds today that are built for frigid climates and loyalty, but their temperaments are vastly different. I'm talking about the Bernese Mountain Dog and the Akita. You won't find either of these beauties has a huge following, but fans of both breeds are deeply devoted to spreading the word about how amazing these canines really are. So let's see how they stack up against each other. Welcome back to the Femria Bernie's Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemriaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could ever want to know about the incredible Bernie's Mountain Dog, then how you can become a high level canine leader yourself that raises perfect Bernie's Mountain Dog companions. So if you love the breed as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Bernie's Mountain Dog video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll see that they are more similar than first meets the eye, given their very different reputations. And we'll start by taking a quick look at each breed's history, since we can find a lot of useful information into what makes them the modern canines that people adore. The Bernese Mountain Dog was originally bred and used as both a drover and a drafting dog. Now this means that they helped herd dairy cows to markets and pulled small carts around the Swiss countryside. Now, with the Industrial Revolution and the convenience of trains, the Bernese Mountain Dog found itself out of a job, and the breed came extremely close to extinction. Now, thankfully, the dying breed was resurrected in the early 1900s and has made quite the comeback as a beautiful family companion. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Now the Akita is an older breed developed in the harsh northernmost region of Japan in the 16th century. A nobleman was banished to rule the Akita region by the emperor at the time and it was where he perfected the Akita as the loyal and protective breed we know today. The Akita is best known for its enduring loyalty that was exemplified in the 1920s by Hachiko, an Akita who waited for his owner at a train station every day for nine years after the man died unexpectedly during the day. It's that kind of incredible devotion that has made the breed so popular in Japan. Now, these two breeds are both strikingly beautiful, but in very different ways. The Bernese Mountain Dog, ranging from 70 to 115 pounds, is generally tricolored, meaning that they have a predominantly black coat with tan and white markings. Their double coat is thick and the outer fur is long and silky, with some feathering around the chest and haunches. They were bred to work in Switzerland's mountains, so they do well in cooler to cold climates over hot ones. Now, the Akita is pretty much the opposite, with an incredibly dense coat to keep warm in northern Japan's cold climates. Their tail is curved over their rump and give their powerful gait a more springy appearance, while their naturally erect ears reflect their alertness to the world. Both breeds are large and overlap in their weight ranges almost identically, again with the Akita weighing 70 to 130 pounds. They are both powerful breeds with thick bones and packed with muscle. Now you'll find both breeds are willing to please their leaders, but the Bernese Mountain Dog is far easier to train and much more forgiving. The Burner has a soft personality and only moderate energy, so don't expect them to be willing to achieve high levels of athletic prowess. Because of their size and general health, they might not be as best suited for first-time owners, but the Burner is a mellow large breed ideal for those who are looking to have the first time exploring into large breeds, but have got experience with smaller breeds. Now, because of their size and protective instincts, both breeds will do best with the experienced canine leaders that are calm and consistent with boundaries and expectations. This goes doubly for the Akita, who needs an exceptionally dedicated and knowledgeable leader to keep their fiercely protective nature in check. They are very devoted and eager to please, but don't make great choices for people who want to compete in canine sports, as that's not necessarily their forte. 
Now, both of their temperaments are again very different, although they are both a joy to have in the home. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a steadfast and quiet companion that is very loving and affectionate with their whole family. They tend to be watchful or aloof with strangers at first and can be imposing due to their size and deep bark. They are wonderful with children, other dogs and small animals, especially when raised with them since they were bred to guard the farmyard so other animals are a very natural thing to them. Now socialisation is imperative with the Akita because of its protective and reactive nature. You'll find the Akita to be loving and affectionate with the whole family and primarily devoted to one person within the family. They tend to be aggressive towards other dogs and even small animals so they do best in homes where they can be the only animal there. Again, this isn't 100% true for every individual, but a general overview of the breed you absolutely have to be aware of. So you can see why both of these exceptional canines have such a loyal following and quite popular in their native countries. The Akita is ideal for experienced and strong canine leaders who can redirect the breed's protective instincts and keep it under control and safe. Capable leaders are also needed for the Bernese Mountain Dog, however they are an excellent choice for a first time large breed for somebody that wants to get into large powerful breeds but not necessarily for a first time owner altogether. Their sweet and gentle nature does make them easy to train and from being overly reactive in busy homes. So then, I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of these two absolutely incredible dog breeds. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two new videos coming to this channel every single week and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show.